Carlos with J. Carlos Fitlap. Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, which is strength training for youth, for kids. Right here we have Alejandro. He's 11 years old. Okay, and we're going to go over some, clarify some of those myths that we've known for years that are now completely off. But before we get going, I'm going to have him tell you what kind of activities and sports he's involved with. I'm involved with soccer, track, and beach sports. Great. So, one of the things that um, it is known uh, and is also misconstrued is try to get the kids to work out or exercise without knowing what actual sport or activity they're going to be con uh, containing or participating at school or recreationally. Okay. Now, on the other hand, you have somebody younger like Gabriel that um, he has a complete different uh, activity and sports schedule. Now, Gabriel also does strength conditioning training. Now, how old are you? I am 10. Okay, and tell us what kind of sport and activities do you do? I do soccer, I do swimming, and uh, sometimes I do lacrosse. Okay, so again, different kind of activities, okay? So his strength conditioning program was different than Alejandro, okay? And he's only 10, but he also does strength conditioning, meaning with weights and why not. And also, of course, at his age, it's very important the motor skills, so we start incorporating a lot of core uh, exercises. And then last, we're going to have uh, an even younger person uh, that she's going to tell you what kind of activity she does. And this is Princess Bianca. And tell us how old are you? I am seven years old. Okay. So what kind of activities do you like to do? Well, I like ballet, swimming, and soccer. Okay. Now, this is a good age to start at seven. Now, here's the key. When the kid is ready to start, the main thing as the parent and then the coach or the trainer, you want to make sure that the kid can follow instruction. Bianca is really good at following instruction. So, yes, she uses two pounds, three pound weights, and medicine balls, but she does balance work and core work as well. So she can incorporate it when she goes actually and do her gymnastic, uh, even though she's through the growing process. But once she gets to that 9, 10 years old, you know, her motor skills are going to be really good and her strength and ability uh, are going to be best. But now, most importantly, what, do you, what is it that you like about working out and being healthy? Well, healthy, I like to eat carrots and a about working out that we get to use the weights and stuff. Okay, great. Now, now she likes to eat carrots and whatnot. So, uh, Gabrielle might have a different idea of why she, he likes to be active and working out and whatnot. So, he's more active, but yet he likes video games and whatnot. But why would you like to work out and, and stay active? Well, it's fun to be active because you get a lot of energy out of it and you learn how to control yourself. Okay, perfect. All right, so uh, you can see two different kids, two different mentality and level of maturity. Okay, so now make sure that before uh, you start throwing your kids into football practice or lacrosse practice, you make a, uh, a very good decision if your kid is ready for it. Okay, until next time, stay tuned and email me or contact me. Bye.